Steve Smith, Australian cricketer, tracks down that ball. That's a hell of a grab. Speaking of catches, the Little League World Series, Curacao up 1-0, sixth inning, game-tying home run. No! Grab! This guy smacks his face, over-rotated, needed medical assistance. He's okay. And these little kids are fighting over the center twist of a soft pretzel. He grabs it, gives it to his brother, takes a bite, snatched by that kid. They realize they're on the Jumbotron, get excited. Forget about the pretzel. This is everything you missed over the weekend that you did not plan on watching. This guy's name is Rakim Cornwall. He's from Antigua. He broke the record for heaviest man to play test cricket, though no accurate records exist of the weight of W.G. Grace in 1899, the year of his retirement. All right, let's go check out this guy. He's supposed to be a fat guy from the old days. Not fat. Just all that is man. His wiki says he was a non-smoker, and that's maybe the hardest thing I've had to believe all day. Anyway, Rakim Cornwall hit three straight sixes. That's like a home run, and basically looks like all he has to do is lean on the ball, and it rockets off his bat. So you missed that. You didn't watch that. Tied up at one in double overtime. Iowa's trying to avoid the upset, but have to play a player down because number 24, Anika Herbine, made that stop on the backhand, which is illegal. The ref says, nah, even though she scores, she complains. The ref says, you're complaining too much. Go to timeout. She's in the penalty box, so her team has to kill time. They wait until she's out. As soon as she's on the field, they get her the ball. She says, forehand only, fine. Blows past that defender. The goalie overcommits, pops one in. Iowa wins. Easy. The coach comes up to her and says, Dover, don't you ever do that to me again. Hypes her up. Makes her laugh. Coach's 100th career victory. So good job by the Iowa field hockey coach. Let's see how good you guys are as cliff diving judges. We got two people right here, black trunks, green trunks. Which is better? Who are you giving the higher score? This is at the Red Bull cliff diving at the Star Most Bridge. Beautiful place. Who you got? If you voted black trunks wins, you're dumb. Green got a perfect score. 10 out of 10 out of 10. And if you're asking for me to stabilize his ponytail and zoom in on it, I did that because I thought, what would that look like? And it kind of, I mean, it looked cool. It was like a genie. Makes him look spectacular. Good job by him. He wins. Actually, no, he didn't win. He came in second place, but that was a perfect dive. Illinois State battled with Cincinnati to start their season. Tied up at two sets apiece in a best of five. They get the point there. If you think the players are excited, wait till you see the coaches. Yeah! Yes! Come on! And that wasn't even the winning point. This is. Good job. They're so excited. It's opening day. Number one ranked Clemson soccer was tied with Indiana in the second half until Usmani Sila gets the ball. That defender drops down. One more touch. I am in the net, said the ball, I guess. I didn't know Clemson soccer got this wild. This is opening day. They're number one seed. The place is going crazy. It's a strobe light show. And then with 30 seconds left, the same guy, say uh, Sila from Senegal, he tries to fake the injury. The ref says, get back on the floor. He's like, okay, I'll crawl on the floor. And then his team... You know, he's offside, so there's running around, and it's like, man, I wanted to celebrate you so much, but what a weird way to end the game that you were kind of the star of. He got two goals here, he got the game winner, but yeah, just laying on the ground, and then as soon as it was over, kind of popped up and it was right. But Clemson, what an environment. What a place to watch a game, unless you hate loud noises. Let's go to my favorite championship match of the week, USA versus Brazil in the Tech Ball Championship. They're tied up at 11 points apiece, 12 wins, but you gotta win by two. Brazil, this woman, she was yelling at her teammates. She was feisty. She was all over the place. Slam by the taller American player. Both of the, oh no, I got it, you take it. The other girl jumps on the table to celebrate, forgets that it's a win by two. She's like, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a little premature by me. I got it, you got it, no one's got it. Yes, we have one. No, 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 no. We, we need one more. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Compose myself, 12 to 11. One more point for Brazil and they win. The two U.S. Players went to Sonoma State, Seawolves. I went to Sonoma State for a semester and a half. I lived in the Zinfandel dorm in Barbera. Slams it down, header, header, knee, knee. Tech ball's kind of fun. Every time it's a rally, 
They're pretty impressive. I watch it and I think, I can't do that. That's cool. Slam, I like the slams. Header to finish misses. Team USA is alive. Team Brazil, back to where they were before. Tied up, gets the header over, chest to head, to foot, to foot, to head, to foot, to head, to foot. And they missed. And now USA is in the lead. They score here. They win. Tech ball champion. I don't know if USA has done it a lot. Header saved. Header misses. It bounced off the net. It goes over. Team USA celebrating. The woman from Brazil says, I want a replay. Please, can you review it for me? I think it hit the table after it hit the net. Says, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. They're congratulating. I've never seen this move before. She says, can you ask for a replay? And Team USA is like, what? And she grabs her arm. She says, go ask for a fucking replay. So she walks up and she's like, hey, we just won and I want to celebrate, but she's asking me to ask you for a replay. Uh, can you just kind of like talk to me and appease me real quick? This guy looks like Barbershop Quartet. He's like, no, 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 no. He could break out a song. If this was a movie, that guy would be broken out into song. It did not hit the table. Replay not warranted. Team USA wins the tech ball match. You guys didn't watch that. You completely missed it. That's on you. It was awesome. Which leads us right into another rally sport, spike ball. One of the more fun rally sports going, unless you're at the professional or highest level, because it's just all misserves. Every time I tune in, I'm like, this is gonna be awesome. I watch the kids play on the beach and it's so fun. And then it's just like 50% of the points come on bad serves or on the return from the serve. They fake each other out. I didn't know that was a thing, like fake serves by body movements. And this was the longest rally of the day. Save there by the woman from Austria, and then they save it, they save it. He goes for a gentle left and misses. That was the longest rally of this championship game. It was the Stewart's play of the game. Shout out Stewart. Sometimes I get myself orange Stewart soda, and I feel like this is a special lunch. What's the occasion? Why did I decide to do this? Team Austria wins, and it makes me think this is a tournament that doesn't mean a thing because Team Germany lost, but they're clapping, and they're all celebrating, and there's no fans there. And then they all walk out together and leave as if it was just like a practice session. Back to field hockey. We got Iowa in overtime again. Second game of the season. They find themselves in overtime again, but North Carolina gets the steal. Comes up, pulls up short, passes to the middle. Number three's got it. She's going to go in. Flap. Save. But then a goal by Aaron Matson, who is the queen of field hockey. Look at this save, though. I love it by Grace. The Iowa goalie stretches out. Unfortunately, no one was boxing out Aaron Matson. She gets it perfectly, scores the game winner. I mean, she's your favorite field hockey's favorite field hockey player. Immediately goes to the goalie, says, good job, Grace. It was much fun competing against you. In your face, though, I scored and you lost. And as always, we're going to close it out with the vote for the fan of the week. Who do you guys got? A, B, C, or D? And vote honestly. Be honest with yourselves. Think about it, and don't just throw one out there willy-nilly. Like, who do you think was the best fan of the week out of these four? Let us know.